Yes. Tell us a little bit about the bird strike testing, which is obviously a big issue these days. Uh, FAA issue. is paying real close attention for lots of reasons. Uh, one number one, where do you, uh, where did you complete your bird strike testing, and what was the process like? Well, we had a plan in place that obviously was changed with the new guidance from the FAA, yeah. um, where we could no longer support certification through the analysis process, but actually had to run the test. Yeah. Um, we ran the test, and we successfully passed the test, we are in the process of running the additional subsequent tests on that particular radome to submit the final paperwork to the FAA for approval. Okay, wow. And who, who's flinging the chickens for the, <laughs> the, that physical test? The physical test was in California. It was. Yes. Okay. And so what do you do? Do you pluck these aircraft out of the uh, desert to get, you use the same type and then you use aircraft that have been... Uh, Actually we use, we go to the desert and we cut out aircraft structure out of the aircraft and we use that structure to actually do an installation on it and then we take that section of the aircraft and run the bird strike test. Oh, interesting. Some in-flight connectivity providers are looking to do the testing um, through virtual simulation that right. don't want to go through the lengthy process of what you just described um, because it takes a long time when you have multiple aircraft in your fleet. What are your thoughts on, on a, the idea of simulation testing instead of phys real physical chicken flight? Well, I mean, obviously we would have preferred the analysis and the simulation testing if we felt like we could get through that in a timely manner. Right. But at the end of the day, we just felt like, you know, to to launch the product well and to get through that challenge, we just needed to be, be proactive and run the test. Just do it. Just do the test and, you know, resolve any issues that we would have after the test. And, you know, we're very happy that we did that and able just to get through that next step. And then we're hopeful in uh, Q1 we'll get the official paperwork back from the FAA. So you don't have the official paperwork yet? We have approval of our design yeah. to do the installations okay. for our customers. So you, you yeah, you have STC. Yes, we have STC and we have approval. Yeah. Um, but in the, we have a window of time in which to complete the bird strike testing and get the official notification back from the FAA. Ah, that's the, really interesting. The FAA has witnessed our test. Okay. So, so but you don't see any roadblocks or anything? Every, you think everything is going to be cool? We're very comfortable with where we are with the testing that we've done so far. Okay, okay. So, uh, are there other customers to be won here in the United States for this KA service? Obviously, there's a lot of airlines out there with the GoGo -Go service, but do you think you might be able to convince some of them to come over to KA? Well, as you know, we have United as yeah. a customer. United is going to launch in Q1. Um, and we're very hopeful that with the positive experiences that people are going to share, you know, doing speed tests on a flight and everyone being able to, you know, surf the net and stream videos, that that will create momentum for us to get additional market share.